السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا کورس آف ڈیجیٹل لاجک ڈیزائن وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ ود دا سیریز آف سیکوینشل لاجک سرکٹس ایز وی نو دیٹ سیکوینشل لاجک سرکٹ کمبائنز دی کمبینیشنل لاجک الانگ ود دی اسٹوریج ایلیمنٹس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈن اے ڈیٹیل ڈسکشن آن وٹ آر اسٹوریج ایلیمنٹس اٹس ٹائپس سچ از لیچس اینڈ فلپ فلاپس اینڈ دین فردر اٹس ٹائپس and we have very elaborated discussion on how these different types of flip flops and latches response to when different types of clock signals or input signals are applied to it so if you have still confusions about those topics you can go and watch those lectures again so today we are starting with the sequential logic circuit and we will analyze how the circuit will uh, respond when different types of inputs are applied uh, it it inputs so today we are starting formally with the sequential logic circuits we need to understand how the circuit performs when different types of inputs are applied this basically gives us the analysis of a clock sequential circuit which identifies the circuit behavior under certain operating conditions so given different conditions of inputs and states how the circuit responds so we will analyze the complete behavior of the sequential circuit now this behavior is actually a function of the inputs outputs and internal state of the flip flops and uh, to quantify or um, uh, mathematically represent the behavior of uh, a sequential logic circuit we need to define the state equations so state equation actually uh, is the al algebraic expression of the uh, internal state of the sequential logic circuit so by definition uh, state equation defines the next state as a function of present state and inputs so we need to understand that it is a function of present state and inputs so here we have given an example of a sequential logic circuit where we have an input x and there are two d flip flops triggered with the positive edge of the clock and uh, then we have some combinational logics uh, which are basically some logic gates applied at certain combinations so we need to define the state equations so for this we know that uh, for example if the current state of the um, flip flop will be the function of t keep remember that t will refers to the current state of the flip flop keep remember that the internal state of the circuit is always defined by the storage elements or the in this case it is defined by a d flip flop and t plus 1 uh, is a next state of the flip flop okay so let's see what are uh, we going to find so we have an output a that we need to calculate we have an output uh, this is output a dash but that would be the complement of that so it's not so much difficult then we have the output b and uh, finally we have the uh, output y so keep remember uh, here output a and b are actually referring to states okay what will be the state of this flip flop what will be the state of this flip flop so for example uh, let quantify it that this a is fed back to the this and gate so we have a input here we have input a here sorry for this we have input a here and then input x okay so for this we know that the uh, output would be a multiplied with x here the input is x and it is multiplied with the b okay so here we get a and b okay so here we get b as an input and here we get x is our input okay so at the output we get a b multiplied with x okay and uh, finally we get ax plus bx okay so we know that it is a function of the current time so writing it in the domain of the present state we will denote 
that the next state a t plus 1 is a function of a a of t the present state and the present input plus the next present state of the second flip flop and the current input. Okay. Similarly, the expression for the B state can be given by the next state for the B is equal to. So, we have uh, a dash input and similarly, we have x, day, x input. Okay. So, it is basically simply the function of a dash into x. So, writing it in the time domain or the present state, we will define that it is function of a dash of t into x of t. Okay. Similarly, here the output y is equal to, uh, here we have the input a and input uh, the another input is uh, which one? Uh, sorry, this input was this input is B, this one is A, and we get AB is output, then we get X dash. So, finally, the present state of the output will be equal to A of T plus B, uh, sorry, A of T plus, yes, we have an OR gate A plus B of T multiplied with the input x dash of t. Okay. Let us simplify all these three equations. We know that at the right side of these equations, we have a present state or the present inputs. So, simply we can write all these three equations in another form given by a of t plus 1 is equal to a into x okay, plus b into x. Similarly, b into t plus 1 is equal to a dash into x. Then y is equal to a plus b into x dash. Okay. So so, here we have just ignored the t designation uh, and we have written the t plus 1. So, there must be clarity that these t plus 1 refers to the future states or the next states. Okay. Thank you.